PCOD is so common these days and it's just because of unhealthy habits and lifestyle. PCOD can be easily reversed by making these three very important changes. First is reduce sugars and carbohydrates. Second is avoid processed food completely. Third is exercise regularly. Now in yoga, there are few asanas that are so important and they help regulate the normal functioning of the ovaries and the hormonal glands. So today I'm going to share a flow that includes all the important asanas which needs to be done if you are suffering from PCOD. This flow can be repeated 3 to 5 times depending upon the intensity and capacity of your practice. Now let's quickly get on the mat. Stand at one end of your mat. Keep your back straight, arms by the side, neck in line with your spine. On inhaling, lift your arms up. Make sure they're straight in line with your body. On exhaling, bend forward, reach your toes. Make sure your knees are straight. And your back and neck is in line. Keep your hands on the mat. Take your right leg back. Then take your left leg back. Come into a downward dog. Push your shoulders downwards. Chest towards the knees. Press the heels towards the mat. Stay here for five more seconds. Make sure to breathe normally. Bring your knees, chest, and chin on the mat. Inhaling, lift your chest up into Bhujangasana. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up. On exhaling, come back to downward dog. Now take your right leg up. Make sure your hips are square, toes are pointed, and the heel is pressing towards the mat. Now bring your right leg forward between your palms. Keep the left foot on the mat and lift yourself up into warrior one. Join your palms and look up towards your thumbs. Make sure the elbows are straight. Come to warrior two. Arms on the side. The pelvis still in the front. your gaze remains towards the right hand bring the right hand down beside the right foot take your left arm up bring your left arm down then take your right arm up twist the chest faces backwards bring your right arm down Now take your right leg back into downward dog. Bend the knees, place them on the mat. Sit back on your heels and relax for a few seconds. Inhaling, lift yourself up and come to downward dog. Now lift your left leg up, making sure the hips are squared. The toe is pointing, and the chest is pressing towards the knees. Bring the left leg forward between the palms. Keep the right foot on the mat. Lift yourself up into warrior one. Join your palms and keep your gaze towards the thumbs. making sure the left knee is bent at 90 degrees bring your arms on the side come in warrior 2 gaze towards the left hand bring the left arm down beside the left foot take your right arm up look upwards always making sure the left knee remains at 90 degree angle 
Bring your right arm down. Take your left arm up. Twist. Take your left arm down. Take your left leg back into downward dog. Again, pressing the heels towards the mat. Bend the knees. Place them on the mat. Sit back on your heels. Bring your forehead and relax. Keep on breathing through the nose. On inhaling, lift your hips up into downward dog. Stay here for a few breaths. Now bring your right leg in front again between your palms but make sure your knee is straight this time. Keep the left foot on the mat and bend forward towards the right leg. Keeping the right hand down, take your left arm up. Stay for a few breaths, keep looking upwards. Bring your left arm down, twist and take your right arm up. Bring your right arm down and lift yourself up, bringing your arms on the side. Bring your right foot inside, facing forward. Point both the feet outwards and bend the knees. The knees should be bent at 90 degrees, the pelvis is down. 